In House Bill 213, we'll have three levels of trafficking. A peddling amount will now be referred to as just that in the law. Two grams and under will be referred to as a peddler. Still a Class D felony, no change in the law. Above two grams and up to a kilo will be current law Class C felony, punishable up to five to ten years in prison. And aggravated trafficking will be a third tier of trafficking, which will be a kilo, a thousand grams or more, and will result, could result, in a Class B felony. That's punishable up to 10 to 20 years in prison. One key difference in our two bills is the House version 213 will include a needle exchange program. Many of you have asked about that. And why might you ask? Because they work. 31 states across this country, including D.C. and Puerto Rico are also using needle exchange programs in four states around us. Ohio, Missouri, Indiana, and Illinois all have working needle exchange programs. Do they enable drug use? They do not. In fact, a participant in a needle exchange program is five times more likely to enter into treatment. It's oftentimes the first chance that participant has, that addict has at treatment. It's a public safety issue. It'll keep needles off our playgrounds. It's a public health issue. It will prevent the spread of many bloodborne illnesses. In Kentucky right now, another epidemic that often goes unnoticed is the rise of hepatitis C. From 2000 to 2012, there was nearly a 1,600% increase in hepatitis C cases. And a new drug on the market that will be covered by Medicaid will cost our state $100,000 per year to cure. It's a possible cure for hepatitis C, so a good drug, but not inexpensive. Currently, that cost is about twenty-five dollars to $30,000 annually to treat an incurable disease. 